Hiya folks, it's Maya. Welcome to my video where I'm unboxing a whole bunch of things that I've bought lately and they're pink and they're like true unboxings. Um, most of them came this week and there's going to be one item that I've already unboxed but I'm going to insert like a little clip just to share what's been going on. Um, let's see, so the current ones I have right now are three, three fashion items and one is a bedding item. And yeah, like the other day I'm like I was struggling to open this box. Um thought I'd have fun kind of punching through this. Um Yeah, the other day I'm like, oh, I bought things on different days and don't know why they ended up being pink. So I actually just looked up the meaning. Like I you know, I have a rough idea what pink means. But I thought I'd look it up again and share with you the positives and negatives of pink to try and kind of understand my current mindset. And maybe this might be insightful for you. Oh, I think I'm experiencing some anger right now. <laughs> okay, but you didn't expect this. Anyways, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because why the hell not? Uh, and it would be great if you could subscribe and watch my weird and terrible unboxing. <laughs> okay, as I struggle through this, I'm going to share with you the positives and negatives. Oh shit, it's alright, my nail is okay. Um, okay, let me get through this. All right, I'll start with negatives of pink. And I think this is generally like a light pink, um, which is the color of what is in here. This is why you have a Stanley knife. Anyways, okay, negatives of pink. Let's say like girly pink although here's a fun fact if you go back like be over a hundred years maybe in the kind of more western societies pink was worn more by boys and light blue was worn more by girls something about pink being more pink being more connected to like blood because it's like the light color of blood um which is uh, something about more power and energy i think and then blue was worn more by girls because uh, it was connected to, I think, the Virgin Mary. Uh, so it's interesting how the meaning of things change over time, and I find it fascinating. Okay, so negatives, negatives of pink. I'm gonna pause. Um, okay, potentially passive, inexperienced, timid over-emotional, unrealistic, inhibited, shy, and immature. And I'm like, I ask myself, am I feeling like those things? Okay, we're free guys, we're free. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay. Um, and the truth is, yes, I'm experiencing those things. Like, not completely, obviously, but uh, they, there's hints of all those things there. So I'm like, oh, okay. So it's a good, I guess, self-awareness, self-reflection piece for me to go, okay, how much more uh, time do I want to be these things? And then if you look at positives, positives are nice. Uh, there's romantic, feminine, playful, innocent, young, optimistic, kind, and healthy. So I'm like, yeah, I'm... You know, it's not not fully. I'd like to be a bit more, but I am connected to these kind of aspects of pink too. So I think it's pink. Me vibing pink has uh, it's like kind of like very serious, not serious, but it's a sign and an indication uh, of how I want to be with myself and in the world. So it makes sense. So, moving right along, so I've never ordered anything like this, 
And this place is uh, Adairs in Australia. And this is what I got. So I saw this in the window of their shop and it is a quilt cover set with pillowcases. And as you can see, there's light pink. Let's move this. And um, so this is from the Adair's Kids Collection and they had it in the window. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I think in all the stores they had sold out, I think quite quickly because it was in the window display. But let's see, I can't see it. I need to move this. <clears throat> but it is, it's got, <laughs> I'll show you what it's got. It is so cute. And like, uh, gosh, this is tricky to show. Okay, so there's some rain, pastel rainbows and unicorns. That's pretty much the theme of it. I think the unicorns vary a bit. So I'm going to enjoy that. And I asked my husband, like, do you mind? And he's like, no, he doesn't care as long as there's somewhere to sleep. And I'm like, so I'm just going to enjoy this cute, fun, loveliness on my bedding for a while. Um, not a big fan of the underside, which is these, this kind of floral. I like farmhouse daisy floral kind of print. Uh, oh, that's a pillowcase. So it's a, it's got the quilted effect. But it's so cute and lovely and playful. And I need a bit more lightheartedness in my life right now. So I'm gonna enjoy that. And I guess if anyone's interested, I'll link it below. Okay. So next items <clears throat> we have are uh, and I'll insert some mod shots once I unbox or unbag the remaining two. Are you a fan of pink? Let me know in the, the comments or if something happened and you're like you totally hate pink now. Okay so this is from an Australian brand Age and like uh, a lot of their pieces have like an avant-garde-ness avant to them and I like the idea of most of them, but only once in a while do I kind of zo like zone in on a piece. Uh, so this is the dust bag. I'm gonna take it up. <laughs> You'll notice a gradation with the colors. So this is uh, they've called it muted fuchsia. And this is the Genesis mini dress. Um, show you. So I went to try it on a top there, but this was on hold, so I tried. But I, I got to try it on, and I'm like, damn, I want this. But I had to order it because there wasn't anything in the bottom. Hey, this? I'll try it on and show it to you in a bit, but this is the dress. So it's a bit flat at the moment, but it's designed to be worn like this. And it is on the mini side, so it is like mid thigh. And, I, and uh, this is that's one shoulder strap. This is the back. There's a little bit of stretchy panel in here with a zip. And then the skirt kind of flares out like that. And the fabric is kind of textured. And I, I like I like the color. It's kind of like well, rosy, you know? And I like the kind of the flaring out here. So this is the like avant-gardeness. And um, I like the diagonal. I actually like quite like diagonal. It's quite dynamic. And it's fun and flirty. So this was a surprise buy. I tried it on and like loved it. And uh, sometimes when you find something you really like or you love, you just have to get it because it's like a rare um, situation. All right. So I'm open this. I'm gonna insert uh, the clip of me quickly unboxing another piece I bought from Spain online. It didn't quite work out 
because the um, the base color didn't really suit my skin tone but I love the idea and it has pink on it as well and um, yeah, it's a shame I had to send it back so I had to unbox it early because um, there was, I knew there was a chance I'd have to return it uh, I wanted to get that process like I didn't want to delay that process anyways Next packet is from Midas. I think they're an Australian brand. Midas shoes. And oh, I'm just thinking the last pair of shoes I bought from this brand, and I hardly buy from them, but once in a while, I bought a pair of cowboy boots that have been blingified and they're also in a, in a similar color as this. <laughs> and I'm yet to wear them. And I really need to, they're a bit outrageous, but I couldn't not have them. Okay, so here's the box. And here's a dust bag. And I hadn't tried this size in the store, but hopefully it works. And I'll insert some more shots. So this is it. Are you ready? <laughs> they are like kind of, I don't know, half, half flats. So it's a bit of a heel, maybe like three centimeters high. And then there's a, a band of bling in the middle. So these crystals are just glued on and it's a bit of elastic here. And it's like a, a rounded pointed toe. It's kind of like a suede material. And yeah, I've been wearing a lot more flats and loafers and flip flops um, because I've just been lazy and I really need to get into my heels again and enjoy those. <clears throat> because you walk, I noticed that when I wear heels, I walk with a different kind of confidence and it induces kind of like this mechanism where I walk uh, a bit taller um, uh, in my posture and I walk a bit more balanced as well. Um, so yeah, so there's, there's something about heels when you, you get that balance and there's this extra kind of boost in your energy. But anyways, uh, I thought this is a nice uh, low shoe. So it's kind of dressy, but I'd wear it casually. And side, and you might, I don't know if you noticed, but I went from the bedding to the dress, the shoes, and they've all gotten darker. So this is more of like a shocking pink, um, probably full fuchsia. So I'm gonna have fun with these. And um, I think for the most part, most of my life, I've worn a lot of pink. Um, if you look at my closet, besides black and white and like, you know, the creams, I think pink may be the most dominant color from like the rainbow. So that's me, so I'm getting into that again. Uh, let me know if you, what, what questions do you have about these pieces? Let me know in the comments. Um, is there anything you like here? I'll, I'll try and link all the items in the description. But hope you've learned something. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, like the video and subscribe so I can get to a thousand. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.